Hello and welcome to everybody watching on YouTube. My name is Shurjo and in this video I'll be talking about the Boss AD10 that is the new acoustic preamp by Boss as they are modeling it the definitive preamp for acoustic guitarists and I really think that they might be on to something. So uh, without wasting further time I'm gonna get right into it. As you can see it has a lot of knobs and functionality which means that you can tweak the tone quite considerably with this product and that's what I'm going to go for here. I'm going to keep a specific tone from my acoustic guitar on the preamp of the acoustic guitar and I'm going to let the functionality of the AD10 do most of the work so you can hear just how far the spectrum is, how broad the spectrum is, how much you can do with this. All right, so that's what we're going to get into. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the input and output section of the AD10. You can connect two guitars if you want, or basically two signals. So you can even have two pickups on the same guitar, and you can get the output of both pickups, and you can connect it to the AD10. or You can connect two separate acoustic guitars to the AD10. You have the option of getting both channels working. So you can have channel 1 for one guitar, channel 2 for another guitar. You can have either or, or you can have both. There is a blend button by which you can mix both. Currently I've just connected the one guitar. It goes into the guitar in section. Every input has its own input sensitivity. So there's a knob, there's an input sensitivity knob which you can raise or lower to change the input gain of your guitar. At the same time on the left side of the pedal you can see there's a input section for channel 1 and channel 2 that's channel select. You can select the channels 1 or 2 and uh, obviously it's not going to select anything since I've just got the one guitar going in right now but you get the general drift of it that's where you go and you can even blend it in. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to play the guitar and we're going to see how we can tweak the tone by the EQ section of the AD10. So So cutting the bass to zero. They even have the function of a low cut, which means that anything below 80 hertz will be removed. Increasing the bass to near full. And you can see how boomy it is. Now keeping the mid at zero. As you can see, it becomes really honky in its tone and the mid-range is really shining out. That's the treble. As the presence as a really high end 8k and above. And this is the volume, the overall output of the EQ.
press the low cut so that all the hums and all which normally accompany an an acoustic guitar which has been jacked can be removed So you can hear how much tonal variation can happen just with the EQ section of the AD10. So that's pretty great. Uh, moving on now to the anti-feedback reduction. A lot of times when you jack up an acoustic guitar, it gives a low frequency hum, like a constant going along with it. So this is basically for that. You can see how the tone changes because it basically removes the low frequencies. They also have at the same time, they also have a couple of notch buttons. What the notch buttons do is you can remove, let's say there are particular frequencies which are humming or which are causing the disturbance you can actually go to the particular note from by using the notch button and you can remove it and thereby you can remove the hum so you can see on the display here that it shows A2 and you can change it to G sharp where, where there's G sharp there's the dot you can see it's G2 right now F sharp in the second octave so on and so forth so you can actually choose which one to remove and then you can reduce that particular note as you can see that display is really helpful and this is what is called as the knob mode the display is really helpful and it basically ensures that you know exactly what is happening the parameters real time in a very clear and bright screen so that's pretty good So now the next thing that they have is acoustic resonance. That is basically a mix of what they're trying to add is the sound of the body of the guitar because an acoustic guitar has a very distinctive tone to it. And often when you jack an acoustic guitar, use a line in, the warmth of the wood, the hollow sound, that sort of is lost. So that is something that they've tried to add here with the acoustic resonance knob. They have different types of acoustic resonances for different types of bodies of guitar. So you can hear that hollowness coming. This is with the acoustic resonance off. The next thing we've got is the comp of the compressor. You can switch all of these on and off by just pressing the switch below them as you can see on off and type so you can go type it from so when you see it's OF is written in the display that's off so you can see the and hear the change in tonality
moving right along to the delay and chorus section so here is where the fun part starts because as you can see there are uh, sp- switches at the bottom of the pedal the foot switches essentially and one of them is to activate your delay so if you hit this foot switcher you can see the blue light comes on that's a delay so you can hear that different types of delay as well you can hear the modulation in that They also have a chorus right next to the delay. And finally they have an ambience button which is basically like a reverb it sets a tone and with the ambience they have different outputs so you can actually select where you want your output so they have line outs as well as XLR outs so you can actually select whether you want the ambience to go through the line out through the XLR out or through both it just gives you a greater sense of control over the amount of reverb you want so your original signal your dry signal can still go through uh one out let's say the line out and then through the xlr out you could have the ambience and you can control how much of that you actually want so that's pretty cool and that works out really well because you might you know you go to a certain venue and you figure out the amount of ambience you want and then um you go to a different venue and maybe that venue has its own acoustics and its own reverb coming in so in that case you need to have a little bit of leeway a little bit of leg room where you can push a fader up and down and just make sure that the ambience changes and not the actual tone So that's very very cool. So apart from the delay functionality on the foot switch, they also have the functionality of a boost. So It's a small volume shift helps you for solos and so on and so forth.
You can hear that. It has a tuner right here. So the way it works is that if it's on this side, then that's flat. If it's here, it's perfect. And if it's here, it's slightly sharp. So that's where you would want your tuning to be. And as you can see, the notes are given up in the display. So there's that. Engaging the tuner immediately bypasses uh, the guitar so that you can't actually hear the output. Also, they have the option of getting your sounds and saving them as patches. So they have some preset patches. I'll just go through all of them right now really quickly. All you have to do is press the memory button. And then you can see this is patch number five. You can use these switches to move up and down. So you go to the first patch. You can see as the different patches are being used that different effects are being switched on at the same time. So when you're in memory mode, you can change the patches by using the foot switches here, up, down, up, down, so on and so forth. So you can save your sounds there. And
if you press the delay and the tuner button at the same time you can see that I engaged the loop section so since I'm operating this with my hand it's going to be really really difficult but I'll try and make something of it That's how you stop the loop, press the tuner button a couple of times. So as you can see, very, very, very handy tool for an acoustic guitar player. You can really tweak the tunes, you can really get the sound of an acoustic guitar without all the hassles of the miking as it were and you can also get different sorts of sounds. You can connect two acoustic guitars, you can mix and match them, you can have your friend come in and sit in and play with you and you can get completely two different sounds. You can actually set two different preamp sounds for the two guitars you can mix and match them together it's such a wonderful tool for the serious acoustic guitar player such a great tool and there's so many options that it has there is an fx loop for you to connect external pedals and so on and so forth uh, there are XLR outs as well, the line outs, XLR outs, you can con add control pedals, expression pedals so that you can control the amount of output signal, ambience, so on and so forth, so much. There are so many options, it is so functional, it's so configurable, I think it's absolutely great with what they've done and what they've tried to accomplish and I think they've managed to accomplish it as well. So. I would say for the serious acoustic guitar player, this is an absolute must-have because when you go on stage, we all know there are many things which can happen and to prevent from unforeseen circumstances from happening, this is exactly the sort of thing that you need. It works for more than one guitar player, so that's just great if you're an acoustic duo or something like that. This is just tremendous and the range, the sound of range, the functionality, just how vast it is, what you can do with the EQ section, with the anti-feedback section, the acoustic resonance section, the delay, chorus, ambiences, the different types of sounds, loopers, memory banks. It's just a very, very handy tool. So keeping all that in mind, this has been my review for the Boss AD10. I hope this has been helpful to you. I enjoyed making it. Until next time, take care.